second moves. Indeed. Let's have a look here, y'all. I'm gonna have to do a lot of pausing. Also, I don't remember how to do the slow motion shit in uh, YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did the same thing for the Season 2 reveal. Alright. Move by move. Ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready. I only watched I, I only watched it live, so I, I missed a ton of this. Marduk! Already, this looks we Ugh. I'm skipping, like, five seconds here. Let me see here. Is that? That seems like a new move up front. That looks like a down forward four extension. Thanks to starting that with his down forward four, which I believe is a 12 frame mid poke. So now he has a three hit Leo string out of that shit, out of his 12 frame mid poke? Am I seeing that right? Ooh, down forward four, hold up a second. Feng, down forward plus four. Thank you very much, Matt Hugh. Fangs.44 is actually 15 frames. So this is a 15 frame mid starting string. Oh, that's not working for me. The frame by frame controls aren't working for me. Oh, wait. Now they're working for me. That makes no sense. Ah. What's up, Kaya? <laughs> what kind of bullshit are we wasting our time on today? <laughs> Zafina existing. I'm like, I'm such an asshole about it though, right? Because I'm going out of my way to like put down other people and that's never good. But I can't help myself in this instance. Alright, that's not Feng's down forward four. Is that? Is that how it looked? <laughs> I get the feeling that I'm playing this on, uh, on, um, whatchamacallit? On Chrome. Is that how his down forward four looked? I don't remember him having his hands to his side like that. This may not be 60 frames. <laughs> All right. So that's definitely a mid. That looks like it's mid, that second hit. You know, this looks like the kind of string he could fake that shoulder and go back to it out of, right? That looks like the kind of string they would do that out of. Much like his current, uh, what is it? Uh, what's the what's the input? Down forward three. Things down forward four looks the same as the second hit of two four one. It's two four one. There we go. Two four one is the string I was thinking of. Much like two four one, how he could cancel and go into back turn. Um, maybe he could do that at this. That could just be a new move, right? Does he have a forward four right now? Feng? Forward four. Fish hook is back four, right? And down forward four is that quick mid poke. He does. Okay. All right. Who knows what the input for this is going to be then? Forward four back. Oh, yeah. Forward four is the high kick. Okay. I remember now. I got you. I got you. Well, all right. Makes you wonder what kind of... It's unfortunate that the uh, clip here just starts, like, mid-move. Because for all we know, this, it could be done out of, like, Kenpo Stemp or something. For all we know. He's doing it as Oki, and Leo's, like, about to hit the floor. And look at his fucking hitbox. Jesus Christ. That's a serious-ass pickup. Depending on how fast this is, he could probably pick up, like, Eddie. But he could pick up Eddie with down forward one, right? So it doesn't really matter. Look at that shit. Leo's on the floor. Elbows touching. Ugh. Get floated, motherfucker. That's a serious pickup. So it's probably going to be good juggle fodder. And it does the whole big spinning thing, so... It looks like it could be good wall carry. <laughs> what the fuck is with the snake shit? My log just started. I know you're going to be excited. All right, Lee, uh, it looks like Lee's doing misstep out of off standing two, three or whatever. Misstep while standing four. 
No, that's forward 4-3. Wait, what the fuck? Is that forward 4 or while standing 4? Does he have a while standing 4 follow-up? Because it looks like he's doing misstep until while standing 4 here, right? Unless that's forward 4. Yeah, maybe that's a forward 4 follow-up. But it looks like he's doing misstep and he doesn't cancel it here. I don't see the cancel. It looks like he just does it out of misstep. He's, see, he's ducking. See? He's ducking. His right knee is almost on the floor. That looks like while standing for. This fat son of a bitch. He's fat. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. What's up, Landonia? Right? Does that not look like a while standing for? You could do forward four from misstep back in tag two. Alright, so if you could just do forward four out of misstep seamlessly, then that would be it. Looks like a screw straight from misstep. Yeah, because it, it looks like um the screw that they gave Claudio out of back four uh, for season two, right? Yeah. All right, so it's probably just forward four out of messed up and a new follow-up. That's cool. Like, it's cool that four, you would give forward four a high follow-up, assuming they don't fuck with forward four three because forward four three is already a cheap-ass counter hit bait tool. So if they gave him forward four one and if it's a natural combo, that would give him a new punisher. I forget how fast forward four is. Let's see, we got the bot here. Assuming they don't fuck with it, right? Lee. Forward 4 is 11 frames. If this is a natural combo mid-high string, that could be an 11 frame punish. If. Just, you know. Just a big little, little what? Big little. Big little. Just a little what if, right? Alright. Alright. That's cool. Frame by frame, y'all. Boop, 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 boop. And it's a corkscrew string, so... I mean, uh, how good it is will depend on the damage. It might just still be all about the uh, misstep. It's a while standing to whatever, right? That, you know, uh, that's Lay. I don't remember enough about Lay off the top of my head. Oh, that's Lay doing the drunken uh, low mid string. I don't remember the input. This used to be a bound move. Did they give him a screw out of that? Oh, they gave him a screw out of that. You know what? That makes sense. And I'm surprised he didn't have that in the first place because that used to be how he would convert down back four. Now he does down back four drunken, and he could just go right into this for a juggle now. You know, assuming they don't mess with properties here, you know, we're, we're still we're still making a lot of assumptions, right? So he laid down back four drunken, he could just do this now to get a screw. What does uh the, what does Lay do right now out of down back four to get a conversion? Right, he does a stand switch, right? I think, or is that only off of the back turn down four? Just straight up down back four. Doesn't he go into stance and then sidestep into another stance, do like a down forward two style move to float them? Panther and two. There we go. Yeah. This is obviously going to be a way easier conversion that's not going to require some stance, sidestep stance switching. So it's going to be like throwback to, you know, what he did off of in tag two and Tekken, and I think Tekken six also. Outside of it being juggle filler, I don't know how this move will be in the neutral. I mean, I suppose if that's a high option. And it has some good properties. It'll be a good way to mix it up. This I already know what's going on, although I didn't notice it, uh, Geese was in EX mode. This is basically a callback to Hulk Dondoken <laughs> Souther. This is a move that Geese used to have in a lot of older games. If you remember Terry, if you ever played KOF or Fatal Fury, Terry Bogart has a move called Power Dunk where he shoulders you and then he does a downward punch. Geese had his own version where he would shoulder you in the air and do a slash with a backhand slash. So now he has it here too. But this is EX, so I don't know if he only has it in EX. So what's going to be the properties on this? Will it be new juggle filler? It does instant core screw, it looks like, but is that a counter hit, right? What is it like on block? You know, remains to be seen. It doesn't look like she's doing anything unless she just gets hit out of it. Like, just, just straight up hit, right? And it certainly doesn't look like he's comboing into it. This makes me think it's going to be a, a filler for core screw during juggles, too. Okay, so this is a savage low having new properties. Right, it's down back four, right? Boosh, counter hit. Is that is that savage down back four or regular down back four? No, that's savage down back four. So it does this stun on counter hit now, right? The the ass stun, the Leo. Uh, oh, it just cuts off. 
But is he going to fall on his ass and that means he's going to get guaranteed follow-ups? Like Leo does off of the uh, crouch dash low? Savage down back four. Yeah, that's the Savage down back four. That just looks like Savage down back four. I don't know. Is he in Savage stance here? Let's see. Uh, he's mid-animation, so we can't tell. We can't tell if he's doing this out of Savage. That just looks like straight up Savage down back four. Right? It might be plus on block, correct? We don't know. It's an uh, EX version, at least. Uh, they they mentioned some of the new features. I, I don't know. They, but the thing is, the fact that they put the features in the boxes... Right? That makes you think there's, like, a new, like, actual, like, feature feature. Like, you know. But there's a little box on the bottom that shows a bunch of stuff that they're adding outside of that. So, you know. That just looks like Savage Down Back 4 to me. So, counter hit property. This is Armor King doing 1 plus 2? No, Armor King doing Down Back... What? No, that's a new move. That's him doing a low ass... A low punch. Looks like King's, uh... Launching full crouch punch, except faster. Yeah, it's just a knockdown low punch. Let's let this one play out. Right? That just looks like King's uh, full crouch punch. Right? Damn, it's going so fast. <laughs> you can't even, like... Oh, man. I wish they showed it a little more. That's just straight up, like, King's slow-ass low punch, except not slow. He probably won't get a juggle out of it. Or, I don't know. I'm saying that. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll at least get a guaranteed follow-up, if not a full juggle. Alright, well that's cool. Definitely gonna look like it's gonna crush highs. No, I wanted to play it out to see, like, to try to get a feel for how fast it is. Slowing it down isn't gonna do that anything like that for me. Alright, Elisa. I don't know what she hit her with here. Uh, she has that flip. Oh, isn't that the move that she can usually only <laughs> flash kick? Is that's the move that she does? She only does when she's back turn. She could do it facing you now as a jungle filler. She has like this weird backflip like that when she's back turn. JD is salty. JDCR. <laughs> well, maybe he'll pick uh, Armor King back up again after saying, "I'm not gonna pick him back up." Yeah, just a straight up flash kick. Alright, I'll keep it in slow motion. Oh, that's just a new kick. It doesn't look like he's in stance, right? There's nothing to it. You know what that looks like? That looks like the second hit. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say it looks like the second hit of forward four or three. No, it doesn't. He's spinning the other way with that. Alright, we can't tell if he's in stance or anything, but it's a core screw kick. It looks mid. Alright, there's not, not much uh, to say about this one. This could be the, the last hit of a string for all we know. It causes a backflip at the wall for Leo. You know what this is? This is Akira's uh, launcher for Virtua Fighter, Yoho. He like just makes his hands go up like that and it launches you. They use the same fighting style, so. Yoho. Well, whatever the string is, it causes a backflip. So, Baji Kwan. Oof. Uh, yeah, they're adding replays and more practice features. Thumbs up to all that shit. Okay, Josie's while standing three. Oh, that causes a flip. That's new. Huh, is that going to mess up some of her juggles? Because wasn't that a pickup? Maybe uh, right after certain stuns, she would pick up a while standing through it. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe she'd still get the conversion. Huh. Alright. This is actually good. You guys might not think about this always, but when it comes to certain juggles, when you get, for example, the core screw and they're like just short of the wall, it's nice to have like one solid hit that you know is going to give you a reliable wall splat for a wall combo. Just one solid hit. Otherwise, you kind of had to just run up and just do like jab, jab. You know? And you get like shit damage scaling out of that. And that's one solid hit right there. Right? 
Uh, they better not nerf Lost 3 plus 4-4. Four, four. Why? I mean, you know, it's an annoying move, but it's not like one that's I find nerf worthy. <laughs> she just slaps him for a corkscrew. All right, I like it. Slaps him right in the ass. <laughs> Bam, get corkscrew, motherfucker. This fast son of a bitch. Whoa, that does the spark. That does the uh, rage dry spark. <laughs> that's what that looks like. Damn, that had a mean hit spark to it. Just straight up slaps him. It's not even a string. It's not even a string. She's just like, wow. Baseball slap to the ass for a core screw. I wonder how that move hits on a standing opponent. All right, Noctis doing his stupid shield. That's a wall bounce move. At least before it was. Now it gives him a hard wall splat, so they changed that move. That's a new property for the shield. For the armored shield. Or, yeah, that's the armor shield. That's not the one on the roll. Except it doesn't look armor in here. Interesting. And it just does a hard wall splat instead of a wall bounce. Alright, Yoshimitsu. What's he doing here? Upward sword slice. I don't know what to think about it. It does corkscrew, whatever it is. Steven getting crushed by... Julia. That looks like generic low. No, that's a low sweep. It looks like her back three, but she's doing it with her right leg. Is that the... Wait. Hold up a second. She's doing this from crouching, right? That's the first hit of, um... Bow and arrow. Are they buffing the first hit of bow and arrow here? If they're doing that, then they better make that shit like Bob's... What is it? Down back three plus four, four? What, you know Bob, how Bob has that low where he kicks your leg out? And then he stomps down on your leg to knock you on your ass. It's like a two-hit low, low string. In Tekken 6, if you block the first hit, it's like bow and arrow is to this day where you have to worry about the second hit if you were to punish it. And then in Tag 2, they nerfed that shit. So the moment you block the first hit, he gets stunned. So if they're giving the first hit of bow and arrow here, I don't know. I don't know. Does she go that way for bow and That's not bow and arrow, right? Bow and arrow goes the other way. Hey, let's say bow and arrow. All right, so if that's not bow and arrow, then never mind what the fuck I was going to say. I was going to say, if they gave bow and arrow a buff, I would hope they will make the first hit on, on block, you know, stunner. The same way they changed Bob's uh, double ass, uh, dumb ass low. That's the one plus four string? Okay. Forgot about that shit. That's the shit that she automatically does a second hit unless you cancel to crouch. All right, so that first hit has a counter hit knockdown property. So maybe if you cancel out of it, she'll get a juggle. I don't know enough about Eliza to just assume anything. That looks like uh, Elisa's while standing kick that goes into that spin. So they gave her that, I guess. This looks like Ling Jiayu's. No, that's not while standing for. That's forward, forward, four. Four, four, four got a spin, a spin out on hit now, huh? I wonder if it still turns you sideways on counter hit. Those of you that don't know about four, four, four. Counter hit turns you sideways. And I don't even know this is necessary in Tekken 7 anymore, but historically, she would hit you with mistrust after that, which is her back turn launcher. And the way you had to block it if you got counter hit by forward, forward, four was to hold forward and keep holding forward. Don't hold forward and then go back. If you hold forward and she immediately does a follow up, you're going to block it. If she doesn't do anything immediately, then don't keep holding forward or else you're going to walk into something. But holding forward turns you facing the opponent faster than holding back does. Turning turning and standing turns you around faster than holding back those in second universally So it looks like on regular hit it does the spin now forward forward forward. All right, that's interesting. We got bear uh, That's the bear. I don't know. I don't remember the impa for this shit, but that's the shit that goes into bear stance It does a knockdown on counter hit I guess I don't know what it did before Negan. Wow. New low. Because that's not down back two. That's a new low. Alright. I feel I felt like Negan needs a good range low that is not death on block and doesn't force him to go into stance. Down back four is okay, but I feel like he needs something a little more. And that looks like it does the dragon off uh, down two counter hit shit. That looks like it's a counter hit. I don't know. It doesn't look like Master Raven was doing anything, but... Was she? 
Yeah, no. That's just regular ass hit. What's up, Slayer? I heard they kicked the Brotherhood out of Egypt. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Uh, what's up, Nelly? Did I miss any questions, by the way? I'm kind of in focus here. We talking shit about Zafina? I'm all in on the talking shit about Zafina train. Arson 1 is Zafina is back. As long as it doesn't force him to go into stands, which it doesn't look like it does, he puts his bat down. Good. All right, that could be really good. Then he grabs her. <laughs> anything else here? They sneak in anything? <laughs> Let's look around. Oh man, it's too low res. Too low res. Uh, damn, man. I hope they give Marduk back his legs. He's just not the same without his legs. Oh, Brian Snake Edge on the top middle. Is that the Snake Edge shit people are talking about? Top. Look at the top middle. Right here. Snake Edge. What the fuck? That looks like... Wait, what? that's a new string. That looks like a new string out of Down Forward 2. Am I crazy? Or does that first hit not look like Down Forward 2? Hold on. Look at Brian. Right here. Boom. Either that's Down Forward 2 or Cordal Circle Back 2. Right? And then he does like a big-ass left hook after that. That does a core screw. I mean, everybody's getting a new move, so you shouldn't be shocked about that. All right, let's let's see what the hell is Shaheen doing over here next to it. Is there a way to zoom in on a specific spot? Marduk does a new screw out of down forward three, down forward one, new third hit. That doesn't really make me excited, honestly. Salty snacks. That's not what he needs. That doesn't do anything for him. Because down forward three, down one at the moment gives him forward forward two, down back two. Whatever that new shit is, if the only th it, it, it would have to do that third hit would have to do a shitload of damage for that to be worth a damn, because then he would pick up with full crouch down one plus two, right? Full crouch headbutt, and then do one two VTS cancel into whatever the fuck. How about Delegate having fucking Heaven's Gate off of back two like a cheap bitch? Oh. Hey, let's see what's up. Damn, you guys got good eyes, man. I got, <laughs> I got a pretty big monitor, and I'm having trouble making out what's going on here. Can they make Shaheen's down back 2-1 actually wall splat properly in, <laughs> in odd angles? All right, that looks like Shaheen's doing forward 2. And then he's going into stance out of forward 2? the fuck and then he does a kick is that forward four three that, wow and you guys got good eyes I can't see shit it's HD I can't see I can't make out what's going on all right let's go back let's look at our uh, let's look at King on the top right here Uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, Paul got mid option of course to go back three two now. Oh, that's cool for him. Once again, I don't think that does that would do much for Paul really, unless it gave him a full juggle off of the counter hit of a course to go back three. So King launches, standing four. He's in Forgotten Realm. I hope the new stage is another floor break stage. That's uh, definitely back two from King. Are they going to make back two good again? Well, I don't think it was particularly bad now. So back two into a new follow-up. Uh, something like a back two one here that does a core screw. All right. I don't know what that would really do for King unless it did significant damage. I'll tell you what that would do for King. It would give him back his old juggle filler, probably, right? 
Launch back one two, jab back two, and then this new string for a core screw. I gotta imagine that would do more damage than the shit he does now. Okay, I can't tell what's going on on top left because Negan's stage is way too dark. Let's see, on the second from the top left, it looks like it's Noctis and uh, Lars. Lars is in stance, does an armor move, Noctis is doing down forward four string. Okay, so that's a new armor move out of the stance for for Lars. Uh, I forget which which stance that is. The forward moving ducking stance they look like. I forget what if it's dynamic or silent entry. Uh, okay. You can just keep rewinding like this. Paul. Wall bounce, down forward one, back sway, three, two, and then the mid option, right? Oh, it's a stomp. It's a stomp they gave him out of that. All right. Of course, we'll go back three, two, three, maybe. Interesting. All right, next to Paul, we got Akuma versus Feng, I think. Feng doing forward three. Oh, Feng has a new forward three follow-up? Is that Feng or Heihachi? That's Heihachi. Heihachi has a... Is that Heihachi's forward three, that mid-kick where he just pushes his leg out? Because that follow-up is definitely new if it's that kick. Right here. Huh. Hey, what's Heihachi's while standing three right now? New launcher. What's Heihachi's while standing through right now? Because what they're showing here is he's blocking Akuma's down four, his sweep, and he's punishing with this, and it's clearly a mid. I don't care about the follow up. What is right now? What's Heihachi's while standing three? Is that is it like a generic move? I don't remember. It's the generic one. It's the high kick. This might be a new while standing three. It's like a homing move? Nah, it's not homing. It's just a 16 frame high kick that knocks down. Hey, Hachi, no, that's Kazuya that has that, like Jim. Look, he's blocking Akuma sweep right now. Street Fighter 4 sweep, right? And then he comes up with a left kick, bam. So unless he's crouch canceling, which is totally a possibility, I think what they're clearly showing here is Heihachi has a mid-launcher now. Which he kind of didn't fucking have before, right? What's Heihachi's mid-launcher right now? Right? Ever since they changed Twin Pistons. What? What is it? Delayed hop kick? Does he even have delayed hop kick? I don't think he does. Uh, uh, he has one out of that stance, right? That fucking mid-punch out of that stance, I think. Right? Yeah, this might be either a wall standing launcher or they're crouch canceling, or they're crouch canceling into whatever this is. This is a new launcher you're saying, all right? Because the second it stuns, yeah. See, the second it stuns, he does the Jinpachi. No, not the Jinpachi. That is the Jinpachi. That's the Jinpachi fucking hug. He's doing a Jinpachi hug, <laughs> not the reverse hug. Uh, uh, Devil because he has the Jinpachi reverse hug. This is the fucking Jinpachi hug, dude. Yeah, it's a Jibachi hug clap. He's hugging. He's doing the hug. <laughs> he's, he's doing the Jibachi hug. So it, him getting a follow-up out of that will depend on how fast he recovers. He might not get a full juggle out of this for all we know. It looks good. Is he? Oh, never mind. They show him picking up. They show him picking up with Hell Sweep. <laughs> While standing for uh, Hell Sweep until the four follow-up. Oh, and then they cut it off when he was going to core screw him. Oh, wow, that, it goes to that afterwards. Okay. Hold on, it goes to that afterwards. Hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go, let's let it play out here. Oh, no, they're showing Akuma do new shit here. All right, well, so yeah, that whatever that is, it is a, it is a, jungle, it is a jungle starter on normal hit because he's clearly punishing Akuma's down four, and I'm pretty sure it's a mid. 
I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, oh, thanks for the. What am I saying? RC McPanther. Thanks for the host. Um, I don't know if Akuma's uh, blocking and punishing Akuma's down four now requires a mid. I think it does. If he recovers uh, crouching. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. What's uh, Jin doing here? He wall bounces, goes into crouching demon stance, does CDS1. CDS1 has a new follow-up. It has a kick follow-up. Might be, might be a new uh, a jungle filler for wall carry for more damage for Jin. Ah, Jin's a bitch. He doesn't need any buffs. See, he wall bounces, goes into Zen or CDS, crouching demon stance as I know it. Does the one, bam, see? And then he does a kick, bam. And it does the big ass like backflip spin for wall carry. That's like the universal signal for wall carry. <laughs> safe? How do you know it's safe? Oh, you're saying he does now, Neil Robinson, right? Oh, I got you. I got you. I thought you were talking about the new move for a second there. Yeah, no, his wall bounce uh, is, uh, what is it, forward one plus two? Or I forget, or down one? No, I forget what his wall bounce is. It looks like forward one plus two because his hand was straight out. His arm was straight out, rather. Yeah, that looks like forward one plus two. Because it is. It's forward one plus two. That's his 14 frame punish. And it wall bounces. I don't know. Does that wall bounce right now, or is that new? Does anybody know if that's new? The wall doesn't bounce now? Oh, so that's new. All right. So Jin has a 14 frame high two hit wall bounce. Okay, interesting. All right, next to what we got Kazumi beating up on Geese, and I'm assuming that's what you guys are talking about now. She stunned him, does forward three fly, and she does the, yeah, yeah, she does the Jinpachi fly kicks. <laughs> yeah, that was Jinpachi, one of Jinpachi's best uh, tag fillers in second tag two, also. Yep, that's her wall carry now. Way more interesting looking than fucking fly two, forward three two over and over again. Forward three fly two. He only has down one as wall bounce. All right, so that's a good wall bounce for Jin. That's a very fast move and a decent whiff punish. All right, what's going on next? I can't tell because the stage is dark. It's hard to tell what's going on here. Uh, that's Kazuya beating up on somebody. Let's take an electric. Back to... Wait, what? Is that the Hell Sweet punch out of back two? It looks like he did back two and then spun around and did the Hell Sweet follow up punch. Right? Am I crazy? Am I the only one that sees that? Ugh, I'm going back too far, sorry. Look, right? It looks like he's lands like an electric or a WGF here. I can't tell. It's kind of a mess, right? It's kind of a pixelated mess for me. Right, so this guy's in the air, right? This is clearly back to boom, right? Even in this like dark mess, I could tell that's back to. And then he spins around to his toward his right and does a hook punch. Bam! That really looks like the second hit of his health sweep. Shona, what's up, Ultra Scrub? How's it going? Maybe Hell Sweep it's a punch is a screw now. Well, there's definitely no Hell Sweep here. That just looks like the animation out of his Hell Sweep follow up. And it screws. So, if that is the case, and they also made Hell Sweep a screw, that. I don't think that makes sense because Hell Sweep is not going to juggle for him. They're not going to turn his Hell Sweep into a juggle. They wouldn't dare. Whatever that is, though, it's screwed. It just looks like that in the animation. And then he doesn't know anything else in the right. Probably cross dash three here, right? If I already guessed. Yep, that's cross dash three. Bram! It was like legend kick. Bram! Get the camera all nice and close on his crotch. All right, there's nothing else there, right? Nothing else after that. Yeah, no, that's just the end of it. All right. Okay, let's see what's going on here in the middle. We're in my favorite stage. Suck. Uh, Bob is beating up somebody. Um, that looks like Bob's crouch dash three. That knee. Look at that knee. 
Yep. And then he lands, so he has a new follow up at a cross chest three, it looks like. And he does like a spinning kick. Is that what's gonna happen here? That core screws? Okay, so Bob has a new cross chest three follow up. It looks like it's a, a, a four kick, a right. It looks like it's his right leg. He dashes up. Four. He just dashes up and does four. Okay. That's it? Oh, no. The four floated him. And then Jad? That was a weird-ass follow-up. Okay. And then up forward one plus two. Cracker Jacker? Oh. And then it ends. Okay. Alright, it just ends at the first hit of Cracker Jacker. Up forward one plus two. Unless that was forward forward four or dash up back four, which used to do the backflip. Alright, what's going on next to Bob? Oh boy, that's what on doing something to somebody. Uh, Lee. He looks like he blocked the hop kick from Lee. And then one, two, th one, two, three into left flamingo. Left flamingo low high to switch into right flamingo. The low out of right flamingo. It, they didn't show anything new for Horang there. It just looks like he did one, two, three. Then he did the low high to switch into the other flamingo. And he did the low sweep out of the other flamingo. Unless he didn't have that in right flamingo before. I don't really recall. Did he have, did he have that low? Horang got down forward one three into left flamingo stance is that what that was because it looked like one two three to me <coughs> <coughs> excuse me i think he did the low into mid you sure all right let me see here he dashes up oh no yeah milo's uh was that milo that said that yeah milo's right that's down forward one three into left flamingo that's what's new there What's up with Miguel's new low? That looks like Savage down back four. That doesn't look like a new low to me, Interpol. I mean, I could be wrong, but the animation looks like Savage down back four. It just looks like they gave a new counter hit properties. Yeah, it's baked down forward one three. It's a Flamingo. Okay, so they gave him another baked tool. I don't know enough about baked to really know that, so thank you for the heads up. Bake him in the oven. I don't know who this is in the middle. The text is blocking it too much. Oh, that's just the Negan shit. Now he's doing back one plus two. And then he lands it on normal hit. Oh, no, that's Negan's hit throw. The back two, two counter hit. So nothing new there. He did the low. Then he grabbed. Oh, no, that's just him doing the easy peasy lemon squeezy grab. Okay. Here, what's going on here? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, Nina and Anna. Let's say Nina's doing the quarter circle forward for me. And then she does the butterfly flaps out of it? Maybe that wasn't a quarter circle forward for me. If that is the quarter circle forward for me. Let me see. No, that's not. That's not. That's her just doing butterfly flaps. Yeah, that's nothing. But nothing new there. One single butterfly flap into the follow up. Right. Ba ba. And then that's gonna course screw. Ah, I need my glasses. I don't even wear glasses and I feel like I need them. And she dashes up. And she's in the er. What the fuck? I can't tell what that is. It's too messy. Is that like a new running move? That could be a new running kick. Fuck, some new jumping kick string. Some new jumping kick string. Uh, did I miss anything? McWordin. What's up, McWordin? Wait, what did I miss? Uh, reading, I'm reading. Maybe Miguel down to counter hit launch. McWordin. 
Is he famous for anything Pacific, specific you mean? Leroy, Leroy's just a new guy doing Wing Chun. Look, um, I've been saying, I mean, those, the, 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 uh, the uh, ones of you that watch me usually, you know I've been saying it. I was like, oh, if they bring back any ca any of, like, leftover characters that aren't, like, Yun, you know, like, actual fan favorites that are missing, which are pretty much, is just Young at this point, um, they'd have to augment it with either a new character or another guest character. And they did one of those things. The unfortunate thing, in my opinion, is that the character that they decided to bring back is the Fina. Now, there's two more character slots. So we'll see. Hopefully, one of them is Bruce, honestly. Um, what else? Did I miss anything else? Uh, yeah, he's new. He's new. This is a Zafina hating stream. <laughs> Yeah, this is Zafina hating stream. You Zafina fans are not welcome here. I'm going to do nothing but talk shit about her when she pops up during this trailer. So heads up. Um, Alright. So Nina looks like she has some sort of new jumping kick string. But it's too fucking messy to really make out what's going on. And it, like, it has a follow-up hit and it might be good as a wall carry option. She lands standing, it looks like. Alright, this looks like Claudio beating up on somebody on the right here. On Eliza. Claudio. Claudio's axe kick launches. Does, I forget the input for Claudio's axe kick, but does it currently launch on counter hit? Because it's bouncing her on counter hit. I don't recall. So that's new, noob dot dot. Claudio's axe kick is counter hit launch. That's new. That that looks like he's doing it with his left leg. So is that a new? Yeah, that's his left leg. So that's not forward four. See, his left leg is connecting here. If anything, the input for that, if I were to guess, would be forward forward three, and it bounces her. right here I'm looking and then he does forward three as the follow-up of course because it's Claudio what else is he gonna do and then uh, forward four four whatever whatever right knee forward two back four two yeah oh sweet oh no is he doing something new there damn he's like white his clothes are white and the fucking background is white so I can't really yeah, it's, I can't really tell. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. But we could. It definitely looks like that. That's a new move. That doesn't look like it's forward four because he's doing it with his left leg. There's the knee. Of course, it's gonna pick up. Good hitbox on that thing. Okay. All right. Let's see what uh Katarina has going on down there. Katarina is like right here. There's down two Harrier. What the fuck, Harrier? She has a new string out of Harrier. She has like a Harrier punch into a kick that does corkscrew. That's gonna give her new juggle routes. That's good. Ooh, that's good. You know what? I remember when I was playing Katarina, wishing that she had something out of Harrier that was like instant corkscrew. And now she has it. Now, I can't remember for the life of me why. Like, what, what I would do out of that, you know? But that's definitely new shit. Can we get rid of Akuma and Geese? No. No, no, no. Let's get rid of Zafina. Alright. <clears throat> Here we got Asuka and Lily. Uh, Lily, I can't... Oh, that's her old Don move. I don't remember the input, but she just swings her arm down. Asuka down forward twos her. She's got armor on a new move. She has a new armor move, it looks like. And it just knocks down on normal hit because she went through the down forward two, so that's not a counter hit. So that's a armor mid that probably, that's definitely going to wall splat. No guarantee follow-ups, but that kind of knockdown tells me that if you're near the wall but too far away to wall splat, she'll probably get a guaranteed follow-up. 
Because she does that knockdown that they bounce on the floor and then flip over and face down, you know? Unless you can hold back and get up instantly, but usually you only see that when they fall on their ass. Yep, Gigas. Alright, let's see what Gigas got. Alright, Gigas versus Mardik. Poor Mardik. That's forward, forward, one plus two. He does the slow ass low. Oh, he has a fuck. <laughs> oh my god. They gave him a follow up off of his down back three. And his down back three doesn't cause hit stun. Like, sorry, block stun. It doesn't stun him when you block it. It's like Mardik's sloth kick. Except it, it was useless before. This makes it useful. I like this. This is a good change. Now does it make it useful? It turns his forward forward one plus two homing move, which means it turns his 13 frame mid counter hit down forward three one plus two into a full juggle. He's doing the sloth kick. I forget if this is down back three or down back four for Gigas. I think it's down back three. See, he does a follow up out of it. No. That's a good change. I mean, I still won't play him over Marduk, but you know. See, like, like, forward, forward, one plus two, homing mid, right? Very unsafe, but he has the high after it. He kind of has a Julia thing going on with that string where if you try to punish it, you could get, like, hit by the follow-up. Right? Then he does, yeah, down back three, boom, right? And then the string, bang, core screw, right? And then what, any new, anything new or just the usual? Down forward three, one plus two, two, looks like he was going to do for wall carry. So that's a pretty good buff for him. What's up, Fairy Tiaska? Uh, I see it's right, Manny. Oh, man. You're hitting me with the ESL. Hold on. Please tell me I see it right. Julia, full cross down, 4 4, counter hit, knockdown. Fairy Tiaska, I thought that was what that move was before, but that's not that's not bow and arrow. That's, um, what is it, 1 plus 4? You know how Julia has that low mid string with one input, but if you hold, I think, down or down back, she recovers crouching. That's what that is. That's not bow and arrow. Somebody in the chat said, he's fat. Thanks for the follow, Isaac, Isaac Nilo. Uh, that's what that is. Two plus three. There we go. Thanks, Sub-Zero Smoke Rain. That's what that is, apparently. That's what I'm being told. I don't know. I don't remember Julia enough to know. You know, I was thinking the same thing. I thought it was bow and arrow. I mean, are you telling me that you're sure it's not? It's not? So you're saying that's bow and arrow? Well then, if all right, if that is bow and arrow, let me go back to what I was talking about. Currently, if you block the first hit of bow and arrow by itself, it doesn't stun her. You know, like if you block a hell sweep or Leo's full crouch low, which Leo's full crouch low didn't get that before, by the way. Same thing with that. Before you would block it, you you it wouldn't like block stun her, and it was like negative 14 on block or some stupid shit before. Thank God they nerfed that. But like, or Leo's hell sweep down back four, that kind of shit. You know how when you block it, they get like, oh, they get stunned, and they cannot do the second hit. They need a, if they if that truly is bow and arrow, and they're giving a counter hit properties, they got to do the same thing, because that's gonna be fucked up. I get that Julia's all about that will she won't she, on the second hit of her strings and shit like that, or the last hit of her strings, you know, like even her magic four is punishable if she doesn't do the follow ups. That's like that's Julia in a nutshell. That's how she's always been. It too much to give her more of that shit. I don't want to see it. Don't don't do it to bow and arrow. Also, man, it's annoying as fuck. It doesn't look like two plus three. All right, Julia seems broken in this game. I wouldn't go that far. Are you fucking kidding me? Julia's annoying as fuck, but she's always been annoying. You want to talk about broken Julia? I mean, I don't. It's not broken, but I've talked many times about Julia and Dr. You guys remember what I said about Julia and Dr. One two one, one two one. <laughs> Reminder, Julia and DR had G Clef Cannon launch and 1 2 1 launch, 8 frame counter hit launchers. If you block Julia's 1 2 and 1 2 1, the animation is the same. But if she inputs 1 2, it's only like negative 12. If she inputs 1 2 1, it's like negative 15. So she could fuck with you and just input 1 2 and then you try to get like a launch punish and she'll block your launch punish and punish you back. Just fucked up. On top of the fact that you could kind of counter hit confirm it.
Dave's VIP, Dave. I finally changed it. <laughs> so Brock Lesnar cutting the rug to that shit. The legend VIP Dave. I greatly appreciate it. So yeah. That's kind of how Julia's always been in a nutshell. She's always been like, I'm going to do this unsafe move, but then there's a follow-up that'll interrupt you for punishing it, but the follow-up kind of makes the move less effective. So, Magic 4 is unsafe, right? But if you try to punish it, she does the follow-up. Unless she does a certain kind of follow-up, it's just not going to give her a juggle, right? That kind of shit. <sighs> and video Steve do high, 2 plus 3 is mid-low, no high crush. Is that so? I mean, she was crouching. That's why I thought the same thing. So maybe we're the ones that are right. <laughs> JC was Julia. Think about JC and JC. Julia Chang. I mean, yeah, the whole thing about Julia is that she was a pro wrestler. That's why her and King had a history in the lore. It's kind of funny. If you play Tekken 5, King is her mid-boss. And she's talking to King. And she's like, King, you got to not do this thing with Marta. You know, Dark Path, whatever the fuck, right? And then King is, like, talking to her, but he's, like, growling. <laughs> and it's the subtitled on the bottom. His growling is the subtitle. Oh, shit, Ogre. With one in the name? Are you the real Ogre? You're not the real Ogre. Uh, what's up, Ogre, if you are the real Ogre? Are you the real Ogre? Um, so, yeah, that that's, like, a throwback to the old lore. All right, let me uh try to get my good eyesight back to... Look at this fucking mail stamp footage. All right, all right, we saw, oh no, we went too far back, too far forward rather, sorry. Let's go back. So yeah, all right, so, uh, Gigas got a new pickup off of down back four, right? Let's go back again. So Gigas has new conversions. Wait, why is it saying 40%? It's changing the speed now, it's not doing the frame by frame. Okay, I had my fingers in the wrong place. Let me just... Bam. Okay. Oh, I lost it. It's not doing it anymore. Man, did I break it? Pause. Okay. Cool. Seems finicky as hell. Alright, so now we got double gin. This is the, Hell's Ga the Heaven's Gate shit, right? So that's back to... Into the core screw string. Except now he does back to it's a Heaven's Gate. So that's a new juggle then for him. Uh, the usefulness of it is kind of up in the air. I don't know. Is that really going to be a big deal for him? We'll see. There's not much to say about that right now. Because, like, you know, you could do that or you could just do a regular corkscrew and then just do Heaven's Gate. Like, I don't know if that's going to really change things for him. Maybe that's a counter hit string too. <laughs> I had a back too. Alright, Lucky Chloe doing the dance. Let me rewind. So here we got Lucky Chloe and Lay. Yeah, one, two, whatever. Uh, and then that looks like a mid. It's actually like has a counter hit mid out of that. That does a core screw. That core screw. The, the counter hit mid elbow. Oh, if she gets that after that, that's going to fucking hurt. Oh, that's her pickup after that. That's going to, this is going to fucking hurt. Unless they mess with the damage. Zafina Zem was the most underwhelming shit to tell me about it. You fucking can't. I'm bitching about it nonstop. I got to stop being a downer. But I can't help it because I got to buy the season pass, right? And that means part of my money has to go to that whack shit hate it. Fucking hate it. And I can't help but feel that all these people, like the people that are like, oh, she looks cool, she looks so cool. Do we really believe that they're gonna be like, oh, she looks so cool, I'm gonna pick up Zafina. Do we really believe that shit? Right? Do we really? No, exactly. I mean, come on. You know, proof is in the pudding. We already have a fucking history of this. Right? So, like, when I when I say this, it's like it feels like I'm being such a downer, and I kind of am a being a douche. But I mean, come on, I guess prove me wrong, right? The only, like, where I stand now on it is the only way we're gonna be seeing that fucking character is if she's cheap as hell, which is gonna piss me off even more. 
I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of that character. All right. So, Chloe has a new... Uh, I don't know if that's a new back turn move or a follow-up. Or just one of the moves she does out of her stupid dance. It looked like it was a counter hit elbow. Was it counter hit or was it normal hit? She does the low, goes into the dance. Does that elbow. If I were to guess, yeah, that's counter hit because Lay tried to hit her with something. If I were to guess, that's going to be a frame trap out of that low when she does the dance. Is down back three, four. It's down back three, four, twist three. But that's a, a mid elbow. It's not, not a kick. So if that's an old move, then it's a maybe the counter hit property is new. All right, that's cool. I mean, whatever, it's Chloe. So it's as cool as Chloe could be, I guess. Marta gets down forward three, down forward one. This is the new shit, right? No, that's not a string. That's not a string. That's a new move. He did a down forward three, down one, then waited, and then did this new move. I mean, maybe it is. If it is, it looked mega delayable, right? Because he kind of cocked his arm back. All right, if that is a string. Maybe they just replace his old down forward three, down forward one, two. That move has no purpose right now. So if they just replaced it with this, I'm okay with that. It looks like it's still a high. Yeah, that is a string. This is his uh, his arm is still out, right? His arm is still up from the second hit of down forward three, down forward one, and then he kind of seamlessly goes into it, right? And he just does a right hook that looks like the right hook he does at the end of his uh, rage art. Yeah, it looks like a fucking Larry. It doesn't even look like a hook. He just Larry is the fucking guy, Steve. I think that is out of the air. And my assumption is the go-to juggle out of this. If that hit does a lot of damage, then his new staple is going to be a pain in the fucking ass. At least out of that. But here's the other issue. His down forward three kind of sucks right now because his legs suck. They made his legs tiny. If they made his legs good again, they could make down forward three good again, which would make this move good. Right? If his legs are the same and it has the same gimped fucking range for down forward three, then this doesn't mean much. Because who the, what Marduk players do you see doing down forward three right now? You don't see the Marduk players doing down forward three, down forward one. Unless it's like a freaking, like, real close-up whiff. And they're like, all right, uh, uh, or a negative 17 punish, you know? And even then, you still usually see down forward one. So, I don't know how to feel about this. It's down forward three, down forward one. That's the string. Down forward three, one is just a jab. That's Marduk's doing down forward three, down forward one, which is his 17 frame launcher and natural combo, right? So those of you who don't know, currently the third hit of that is down forward three, down forward one, two. And the third hit is a high elbow, right? Which uh, was never good, right? Because you would think the whole purpose of it would be to interrupt people uh, punishing the second hit of down forward three, down forward one, which is, I believe, negative 12. But the thing is, the gap is still there whether he does the last hit or not. The, the, and the last hit is a high, so it could also be ducked. So it's like it serves no fucking purpose. It was a bomb move before, and it was still useless, right? You still wouldn't fucking do it, even though it was a bomb move before. It's it's been a useless move since I don't even know how. Maybe he had a use in Tekken Four. I don't even know if he had it back then. It was it wasn't any good in Tekken Five. It wasn't any good in DR. It was just down four three, down four one, and DR was when they made it a natural combo, which turned that into a pretty good whip punish and his 17 frame mid launcher. And it did more damage in his down forward one jumbles. So, yeah, it was good. Uh, so, if this third hit, if they make down forward one, down forward three, down forward one, two, it's a, if that's what this string is, they just turn into a different move. If that two in the end is like a really good damage, core screw, then this move serves a purpose all of a sudden. So, and my assumption will be the best pickup will be what it always is from Marduk. Dash up, full crouch, headbutt, one plus two from full crouch into jabs, VTS cancel, throw, or jabs, VTS cancel, jabs, VTS cancel, back one, two. Uh, 
Down four three one is not only used for juggles. Down four three one is natural combo, duckable, but natural combo and plus two on block. His Dafo 3 strings are actually good pressure tools. It's just they're less good now that his legs are skinnier and his leg range is gimped. Uh, a couple months ago, I went through Tekken DR, Tekken 6, and Tag 2. And I showed, especially in Tekken 6, I showed off the old down 4 3 range. Fucking A, dude. You gotta understand, in Tekken 6, fucking characters took up the whole goddamn screen. The, ca the camera was right up in their fucking face. So you had Marduk's head being cut off by the top of the screen and shit. And his down forward three went like halfway across the fucking screen. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy in Tekken 6, dude. And in Tag 2, it was still pretty good. And now he has these gimp-ass legs. Everybody outranges Marduk. He still has the lingering hurt box on his left arm. So creating space with him is a pain in the fucking ass. If you want to create a whiff and lost somebody with Marduk, it has to be down forward one pretty much. And to get that, to get into the range, to make something whiff, you're out of down forward one range. To make most things whiff. Most things that attack at an upper level. You have to be out of down forward one range. Which means you have to do this fucking 2D fighting game footsie shit where you're barely moving, stepping back, and then stepping back forward preemptively. You're doing like a little boop boop back and forward to make something with and get back into range to launch them. Otherwise, all you get is down back two, which just doesn't fucking cut it. Like a 21 damage knockdown. You, you know, you see a character like Marta, you expect range. He don't got that kind of range. You know? Back four, I suppose, is another option, but it's really down back two for the knockdown. <clears throat> and that's the Marta issue in a nutshell. You gotta time this little back forward movement and risk running into a move because of it. A lot more than I mean, you do that with any character, but Marduk especially, you have to be really good at that positioning. And it takes a lot of playing with that character, playing against a lot of other characters to get a feel for that spacing. So when you stop playing for a while and you all of a sudden you play again, it it's fucking you lose that little thing, it, it changes how good he is dramatically. Dramatically. It changes how good he is. Because you don't have if his only option to whip punch you is down back two, or forward one plus two from range. That ain't fucking scary. Forward two, that shit that ain't gonna stop people from fucking pressing on you. You know, his gunner tools are pretty good though. Anyway, back to the uh, trailer. Uh, record. We don't know yet, or did they announce when? Uh, I don't think we. I don't think we know yet. December. Oh whatever. All right. Uh, what's up, record? I'm working on my samurai now. I got it to level 58 while watching Evo. All right, that's Dragon off doing back one two on Leo Corkscrew. What do we got? Three one into a new follow up. Three one three maybe. So that's a new wall carry string for Dragon off. Not something he really needed, but sure. Why the fuck not, right? And you know what? There could be more uses for that string. There could be a use for that string in the neutral. Uh, Dragonos 3-1 is natural combo mid-high. And the 2, if people block the high, would be something to stop them from swinging, right? Uh, if there's something up with that with that kick in the end, I'm assuming it's a high. And it's like a safe on block option. Because the mid option is not safe. Then you could kind of play around with that string a little bit. It's not great. It's kind of gimmicky, but you know. it's a, It's a way to use that move. Because that last kick looks like a high for sure, right? Yeah, he kicks upward. Kind of like Shaheen's down back 4-3. It looks exactly like Shaheen's down back 4-3, the second hit. Or down back 3-4. Whatever that two, that low high kick string is. All right, now we got Jack. Let's see. That's Lars? No, that's King doing Atlas Hammer. Jack blocks it. Back one into a follow-up. Back one into like an elbow. Okay, it doesn't knock down for maybe a guaranteed follow-up. All right, that's uh, yet another good whiff punishment for Jack, as if he fucking needed it. And back one, assuming it's still safe. Now you have now he has a follow-up to stop to make people hesitate from swinging on him after a back one is blocked. So there you go. How fast is back one for Jack? Uh, I don't know. 
It's not about it being fast, nah, but it's safe. It's safe and it has good range, exactly. It's not about the move being fast. Try to try to not get in that mentality. It's not, especially for Jack, he has the fast tools. He's got 12 frame mid, he's got 10 frame counter hit high, and then he has 12 frame jabs. You know, like he has the fast tools. So everything else is just augmenting that with range. He has fucking two safe lows. Safe on block lows. Jack kind of, you know, he's he's a very obnoxious poker. That's why you kind of got to low parry him. And that's what everybody, well, not everybody, but that's what Nee and Arslan pretty much did to him. Anakin, right? They low parry, they didn't low block. <laughs> you got to low, low parry a lot more against Jack. He's one of those characters. Anyway. Um, so, I think that Steve, uh, I don't know what that low punch is. Is that the low punch out of Peekaboo? I think that's the low punch out of peekaboo. I don't remember it animating like that though. Yeah, the peekaboo punch where he like slams his fist down. Yeah. Huh. Well, that could just be a new low punch, the animation. Yeah, that looks new, you're right. That doesn't look like a move he currently has. Well he set it up, he's he used it to set up a sway right. And he got the Wasp that when this uh, thing tried to swing at him after it. Oh shit! Is that sway right to wall bounce? Is that new? Is that new? Does that wall bounce right now? It's not a wall bounce now, so that's new. All right, so we got two, maybe two new things. That low look new. So if that low is new, then that's two new things right there. What reason is there to use it over down one? I wonder. Well, for 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 Steve. Well, I don't know. It looked like it crushed low. It looked like it was plus on block. Look at the animation. When he hit him. Look at the animation. You see that animation? Down to one knee? That's the universal tell for this low is probably either plus on hit or even on hit. Honestly, it looks plus to me. No, sorry. It's not the fucking knee down. It's the hands down, your legs split animation. So you put your hands on the floor to keep your balance. That tells me plus. That's what Dragon Dragonos counter hit down to used to do before FR. You know, Tekken 7.0 and before. It would be plus 5 on counter hit and it would do that animation right there. So that's definitely a plus on hit low. That forces crouch. And it, pl it forces uh, both of you on crouch. So we might have a dragon off down two situation if this is uh, tracking low also. He, we might have a, a dragon off down two situation for Steve. I mean, he doesn't have the mids that dragon off has to augment it per se. He's still a poking machine. So it doesn't mean the same thing if Steve has that as it does to dragon off. But, it, you know. <laughs> if Steve is not lacking in one thing, it's trackers. He tracks with fucking everything. You can't step this. It's hard. You can, but it's very hard to step this fucking character right now. Alright. What's the last one on the bottom right here? Okay, we got Katarina doing her hop kick. Looks like it's getting blocked. And who's blocking it? Is that Feng? Uh, is that Eddie? That's Eddie. He did uh, some sort of hit into a handstand. I don't know if that's new. That might be new. Whatever that string was, he did some sort of punch into handstand. So that might be new. Because that's all that they showed there. I can't tell what the hit is, though. It just looks like he slapped her in the face and went into a handstand kick. <laughs> you know, the job that I just finished working on a project on, I met a dude that st uh, trained in, in Capoeira since he was like 12. And actually showed me some stuff. He wasn't doing like handstand stuff, but he was showing uh, me and this other kid we were working with like the movements, you know, the the stance training and the stance the proper form on it and shit. That's pretty cool. One of the few cool things about that job. Look like his standing two into a kick into handstand, right? Standing two is like a slap, right?
Yeah, it just looks like a fucking standing too. Yeah, you're right. And then he, I know he has that kick into handstand as, as somewhere else. He has something that looks like it, maybe out of relax. So that just might be a, a, a natural combo way to go into handstand. But it does push back. And I don't think Eddie has anything new other than doing the fucking, I don't know the input, but the fucking diving forward drop kick from handstand. Or is that only from relax? Basically, I don't think Eddie is a threat from this range. He pushes her out on hit with it. And I don't think he's really a threat to do any sort of crazy mix-up on you from this range. That's like the universal thing about Eddie from when I, from when I went through his stuff. So unless it gave him some threatening-ass low from handstand that's going to reach you from that far, I don't, you know, the, the grab ain't good enough. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. The grab ain't good enough. You could probably backdash that. She just stood there for mad long for him to do that throw. What's to stop you from backdashing? Nothing. Handstand and relax have that draw kick. All right, well, same thing. That's not going to stop backdash. All right, so that's all of those. All right, we got Akuma do. Oh, yeah, Akuma's now able to combo into this, right? He couldn't do this before. All right. And it has, like, a new ender, it looked like, with that lightning strike. Or is that a transition in the trailer? Oh, that's new, the lightning strike. They added the lightning. <laughs> uh, here we go. So, just a heads up. I don't know Safina. So I can't be like, oh, that shit does that now? You're not going to get that from me. I'm sure there's like Zafina fucking hardcore Zafina fans. You can find them out there. They're going to be like, oh, they did that? You know? All this shit with the glowing hand. That's a reference to the dumb last boss from Tekken 6, Azazel. And I think her lore from the game was something about she was the gatekeeper for it. I mean, who really gives a fuck? So they worked that into her character. So she has this dumb arm and does dumb shit. Where she kind of feels up on you and it does damage, I guess. Her offense still looks corny as hell. So she, she reminds you of Viola right now. Just the way she looks. That's not a that's not a good sign. She got the fucking goth makeup on. Look at her, she had the wink. God, this is so whack. Ugh. No amount of new costuming is gonna make these butt ugly at him. Look at this. Look at this! That's a launcher? What is she doing? And, like, the thing about her animations is they're all slow as fuck. They're, she's, like, overly animated, so she's, like... And, you know, <laughs> it has, like, zero impact. Zero impact. Her moves. So whack. There's that scarecrow stance, and she does the double kick, right? This ugly-ass double kick. Oh, it's a core screw now. So they get, uh, assuming, okay, so that's probably the new animation for what used to be a bound move. And I know she has the old animation during her rage arc. Now she kind of sideways kicks and does a core screw now. So it's like, it's just like what they did with Anna and Lay and Marduk. They just repurposed old bound moves and turned them into core screw moves. Look at this, look at this, look at this, what is that? That's an attack? What, <laughs> what is that? What is this? You see this? This is what you hype for? This? Oh my god, what is this? It makes sense when Valdo does something like that because he's got fucking blades coming out of his fucking hands. So if he's doing this, he's cutting your ass. Her going, that, what is this? Come on. Oh my god, this is... Shit. And we got a cool ass camera angle. Oh shit, Eddie. And she goes into the Yeah, look, she's looking at you. Hey, what up, babe? Oh shit. Let your imagination run wild, baby. We know what this fucking character is about. We know why people want this character. We know. We fucking know. 
make use of that fucking G-Force, um, uh, Ansel, right? Get that Steam Movie movie Maker shit. Oh, there's a monkey back here. I never noticed that. Get your Steam Movie Maker skills going. Okay, so she back rolls into her, uh, Mantis. I think that's what that's called. Which is one of those, uh, it's basically AOP. So... That's another thing. You're gonna have to fucking study this character so you know not to fall for stupid shit like this. Because she basically has a low-profile AOP thing going on. Except it historically is nowhere near as good as AOP. And then she has the armor move out of it. And you fell for it, Lars. You idiot. Oh, no. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, X marks the spot. Oh, yeah, I got a cool camera angle for that shit. That's sick-ass animation, bro. That move looks like it fucking killed him. What kind of knockdown was that? It just, okay, so she probably gets, like, a guaranteed follow-up out of that kind of knockdown. Name face planted. What is that? She just leans in and sticks a limb out in a random direction, and then it hits you like you got hit by a fucking shoulder. Like, what about this move signifies that kind of impact? She's not even looking at you. It's the fake out. That's so how you don't know it's coming. What is it about? <laughs> That's like she's looking away and trying to throw a Hadouken out. What, what, what is it about that animation that indicates, oh, you fucking got owned up like you got hit by a Phoenix Smasher? Bounce off the wall. Turn Phoenix Master to a wall bouncer. Homing moves a course screw. Oh shit. No surprise there. There's that stupid string that goes into Scarecrow and she's gonna spike him to break the floor, right? No, not even. She's just gonna do a wall combo. Her armor move is an ender. It probably naturally hits low, so she gets the full damn or the sixty percent reset. Damn, sick ass fucking arm strength. I'll be doing that soon enough. And go into Cat Arch and then Downward Dog. Damn, Bayonetta. Oh, Zafina looks so cool. Oh! What's she doing now? Uh oh. The no look crotch grab. Devastating maneuver. Never saw it coming. Oh, we gotta replay this. Oh yeah, that's that shit is hype. We gotta replay this three times. So you can really get a good look at that. I don't even know what she hit him with. She did one of those go through you X slash things. Like Wolverine's like X strike shit from Marvel's Capcom. Armor move on the claw. Oh, oh, oh devastating. Oh my god, another crotch grab. She used to watch where she's swinging at. Another crotch grab. What is wrong with her? Fucking dirty fighter over here. Oh, that looks like she has one of those, like, you know, like Shaheen down back 2-1, you know, king forward 2-1 strings. That looked like one of those. Right? She's always aiming for the crotch. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Dirty fighter. You never know where she's hitting you. Ugh. Maybe that's a wall bounce. Oh, we gotta replay this shit three times. That's just hype. That's the good shit. Okay, so that's like a hit throw, I guess. So here we got, yeah. Oh, look at this. Ugly animation after ugly animation. You ready for this shit? Her old bound move, right? I saw it. Yeah, get into the stance and crawl up to him. Yeah, here it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the old bomb already. Devastating. Oh, get bounced off the floor. Oh, go into the air. <laughs> oh, this is so fucking whack. Yep. Yep, yep. And then it's just another version of that hit throw animation. 
You guys hype for Zafina? <laughs> she really just hit the worm? <laughs> oh my god, look at the flashback to how she used to look. I don't even know what the hell is going on. Wow, that she got that face. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun with uh, NVIDIA Ansel with this character. Huh? Is this a throwback to her th That's a Zazel, whatever. So maybe this is a throwback to her Tekken 6 ending? She opens the gate. Oh shit. It's a Zazel. The only cool thing about this boss when he fought in the Tekken 6 was you could make fun ass combo videos on him. You could make him spinning around in the air like 10 times during a juggle because he's so fucking big. <laughs> but he still got launched. <laughs> You can do the dumbest fucking juggles on that character. You look like you need an exorcist, and you just beat him up, so... Ah, you're fucked, I guess. Calm down, you can control it. Damn, Liquid Snake is living in her arm, huh? Let's go normal speed here. Whack, 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 whack. All right, I'm kind of, I'm gonna skip through this because the only thing I, I could say about this, there's no gameplay here. The only thing I say about this is we know it's Wing Chun, and I think the character model looks cool, even though I really thought it was Wang because Wang wears similar looking clothes. When he, fifty years ago, a young boy was caught. Here's that sweet Tekken lore. A young boy was caught up in a large scale gang conflict in New York, losing his family and home missing for decades. He has finally returned to New York. New York now is a seasoned master of martial arts. And he's out for revenge. Finally, New York represent <laughs> in the weirdest way possible. We finally got a New Yorker. It's like a throwback to black exploitation flicks. I think he look he looks cool, but I can't say anything until I see gameplay, and this isn't gameplay, so. <laughs> the one inch punch. Hey, hey, Law has that already. Thief. I do hope his attacks are all like, puh, 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 like three hits per button and shit. <laughs> it would make it really bad on whiff, but it would look sick. Alright, this is what I missed the first time watching. You see all this shit down here? Oh, and I spilled some of this drink on myself. No moves, we know about that. Play stats display. I think they meant player. Uh, for those of you that don't know, one of the few actual cool things about Tekken Tag 2 was this thing called WTF, Worldwide Tekken Federation. It had detailed stat tracking. For those of you that uh, played the um, Grand Blue Fantasy thing, you saw the stat tracking, how it would tell you like percentages of throws broken, percentages of lows connected, and that kind of shit. WTF had that sort of thing going on so if this is up to that standard then i am all about this place that display shit right here what's up nino brown mm. uh updated ui uh sure whatever this is interesting excuse me expanded practice functionality uh personally i would like if they brought back online practice tag 2 had that um so, but who the fuck knows what this means? Maybe frame data? We don't have to rely on second bot anymore? Did they finally give up? Is Michael Murray going to be the one that saves us now that Howard uh, moved on up and Michael Murray's now the man, the director? And we'll finally get some fucking frame data in, built into the game? And we'll stop, you know, going through this farce? You know. And then, uh, my replay and tips. Finally. Finally. It took, it took us four years? 
wait, early it was, it was early 2017, right? It took us so it took us a little over two years to get here, right? But finally, we got replays back. <laughs> We're not getting frame data. You tripping? <laughs> hey, come on, let a fucking man hope. All right, man. Stop trying to ruin my 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 uh, hopes here. Save that for the Zafina fans. Um, I don't know what tips means. <laughs> Why are we playing tips? You should have blocked that low. <laughs> you should have punished that uh, launcher. Maybe you'll say that during your replays. Oh, you could have punished that. Um, so, yeah. You know, that might not be a bad idea. Think about it. There's already a mechanic in the game that signifies that you landed a punish. If they put that into the replays and saying that you, like, you missed a the punish there in your replays... <laughs> And they showed the frame data. Oh, dude. That could be sick. But they're not going to do that shit. Or maybe they will. Maybe I'm just talking shit and they'll do it. Yeah, September. Next month. I mean, I'm going to be on Monster Hunt the World. but And you guys already know. I'm going to go back to doing what I used to do. The full-on character reviews. I'm going to go back to doing that. Hopefully these two come out together. You know, I'm certainly interested in how this dude is going to turn up. You know? But of course, I'll be looking at Zafina too, because Zafina is one of those characters that no matter how much she ends up sucking, you know, she's gonna fuck you up if you don't know what's going on, because she's gonna low profile your shit, she's gonna crush, she's gonna go into stances, it's gonna be awkward, and you're not gonna know what the fuck is going on, right? Will there be a YouTube video, Leroy, as a whole? Gago, there will always be YouTube videos of uh, what I do. This is probably gonna go up on the YouTube too. I can't promise you it's going to be edited down. This is going to be me throwing streams up on my YouTube like I always do. But for sure, I wanted Kunimitsu. I wanted Bruce. <laughs> Zafina, yay, shoot that guy. Uh, this is interesting because these are like features. It's like fucking yes, I wanted all this down here. But then they put feature as in like some shit that you're paying for. So what the fuck does this mean, right? We got two characters. We got one stage. I'm hoping for a second floor brick stage, personally. I'm, you know, not just Forgotten Realm. What the fuck is new feature, right? Tekken Ball. <laughs> you pay for Tekken Ball. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I kind of don't like that they're putting stage here. It feels like because Season 2 had six slots here they felt the need to fill this up with random shit because season two gave us new stages also but they didn't put it up here but then they're like oh you're getting the same value as season two because we're putting six things up here it feels like they're kind of you know trying to trying to get one by you here right <laughs> it feels a little low i don't know uh maybe like a new game mechanic i don't think that would be put as like new features i don't think like we got, we got new moves down here. New features would have to be something like some dumb shit like Team Battle for the people that want that, I guess. Or, you know, I feel like Team Battle would be like a strong style tournament. <laughs> like a side tournament of strong style, some dumb shit like that. But I, And I do know a lot of people like that play casually for fun like that Team Battle shit. So, I mean, I don't like the idea of having to pay for it. There already is Jukebox in the uh, PlayStation version. And then I suppose you could just put your own songs on the side. Uh, something like a wall bounce. I don't think they would put that as a new feature here. Uh, I'd be down for another infinite. Tired of seeing Azure and Snow Stage only. I mean, I'm, I agree with you, but we only got one floor break stage. I think we need a second floor break stage. I, need, I think we need more than one new stage. I think they should remove Suck and put fucking, like, a couple new stages, personally. <laughs> Let's get suck at night. Fuck suck. I hate that goddamn stage, dude. Oh, that stage sucks. That stage sucks. Dude. Oh, man. Ugh, I'm never going to stop complaining about that stage. Mr. Nash is like the only person that loves that stage. <laughs> Love that stage. Shit is so good. Fuck you, Milo. Uh, for those of you who don't know why I hate that stage, it's uneven. It's the only stage in the game where the player one and the player two are not on even footing from the wall. It's different. And then there's also, like, really bad indicators of where the wall is on that stage. Very bad. 
indicators. Like, I've already seen it fuck somebody up in tournament. There was a match where Chanel had in the grand finals. I think it was against Nina. And he ended up losing, dropping, like, a round-winning thing that would have won him the round. I don't, I don't remember if it would have won him the tournament. Strictly because of how shitty the wall is on that stage. There's, like, a fucking food truck. And the, it, that's supposed to be part of the wall. But the truck is, like, here. And the wall is actually, like, this far forward from it. And that ruined Chanel's wall, co wall carry into the wall combo. That snake shit... God, these people... You, the problem with the snake thing was that... They were doing joke transitions for the live audience between the matches. But they weren't showing that on the stream. The only way you could see it on stream was if the camera was on Aris and Markman. And you would see the screen behind them. So what ended up happening was... At one of those joke transitions between the matches... Was a codec call between Howard and Solid Snake. And Howard would tell Snake that was some good ass Tekken. That's what it was. And you heard the codec thing. So it was just like a joke transition that somebody from the evil staff made. And then because we everybody on stream only heard the codec thing. And then everybody got confused. And the camera wasn't on the screen. And you just saw me looking up like huh? Everybody thought it was like an accidental reveal of a Snake trailer. And that got everybody's expectations stupid, basically. And then that makes the Fina reveal even more lame. Uh, Crossplay would have been great, too. I agree with you. I agree with you. I do feel like the tech in uh, online is a little sparse. Uh, Nobody got mad fucking lucky with Drag on the Wall. Did he? I don't really remember off the top of my head. Seems like it was a weird time to show that. I don't even think it was a weird time. That, I'm telling you, every match had that in between. So it wasn't that it was a weird time. It's just that was a funny one. And it got people like to react to like, oh, they were laughing and shit. It wasn't like a, a teaser or somebody fucking up. I love to play shitty three bars of Wi-Fi using bitches from PS4. Well, then there's also the problem that the PC version runs way better than the PS4 version. They would have to dumb down the PC version, I guess, or something. Uh, it started right after Winners Found Out. Even there. Nelly, they were doing those... All top eight. If you rewatch it again, look behind. When the camera goes on Markman and Aris after matches, there's a bunch of them. There was one where they where they made like a cartoon out of the whole geese getting knocked out the window scene. When Terry knocks geese out of the window and they, they call back to that in the geese trailer, they made they aired one of those. There was a whole bunch of those that were like a variety of them. Why would he do four one that many times if it wasn't on purpose? He did it on purpose. Uh, I don't know the specific thing you were talking about. What would feature me? Kano Ball, that's what I'm curious about. A couple of things. Uh, for It could be something for like that casual fans have been asking for, which is like team battle. I don't think the game has that right now. It could be like Tekken Ball. Or it could be... like uh, for, As far as competitive things go, down here kind of has the stuff covered, right? Hopefully, expanded practice functionality is good. Replay is huge. I strongly recommend you watch your own replays. When you play a set, a long set against somebody, a couple of matches, win or lose, watch your fucking replays. It'll, it's one of the best ways to improve at any competitive game. You know? Any competitive game. Watch your replays, right? Look for what you do uh, right and look for especially for what you do wrong. And don't just look at, oh, I fucked up this juggle there. No. Every time you get hit, what were you doing, right? It's not always as simple as I should have blocked low or I should have blocked standing. It's, hey, that low, I could have stepped in this direction. I could have backdashed. I was spaced out. I could have backdashed. Oh, I backdash canceled and did two backdashes and they whiffed in front of me where if I just did one backdash, I could have whiffed punished that thing. Notice those kinds of mistakes and tighten that up. You know, that's one of the best things Arslan is at. He's the kind of guy that backdashes and attack will be fucking right here in his fucking face. Just barely whiffing and he's like 1-1-2 one, one, or down forward 1-2 with Kazumi. You guys really don't realize how much damage a lot of players, especially me, miss out on because you backdash one too many times. You're just thinking about backdash canceling. You're not thinking about maintaining a certain kind of space within a certain time frame to uh, whiff punish. What character do you think teaches good tech and fundamentals but isn't top tier looking to play a new character? Well, first of all, I starting to recommend playing a character you want to play as because that will make you want to learn the game. But if you truly don't care about that and want to just go with fundamentals, Kazumi, Shaheen, um, 
I need to see a character slash screen in front of me. I'm like forgetting all the characters right now for some reason. My brain not working. Hold up a second. Let's try it this way. Uh, Google. Inotekin. Uh, Inotekin was made. Oh shit! Really? What was the uh, what was the Tekken frame data website? RB Norway. There we go. Let me just look at a list of characters. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. Just characters with basic game plans, basic buttons, and basic execution. Shaheen has some some complex execution, but not too much. So, um, but Shaheen would definitely be one. Uh, Paul, if you're okay with learning backsway, like uh, working around backsway with a proper backdash cancel. Leo, although Leo does have a trap, you could get too used to like abusing back one four at lower levels of play. Just try to avoid that trap. And try to actually, like, just get good at your neutral. Lars, he's dumb and boring and shit, but Lars is definitely a basic. You could definitely use uh, basic fundamentals with him. Uh, Jin. Who else here? Dragonov. I think Claudio. Claudio's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there's some characters that have pretty basic game plans, but like their execution is a little weird, or like they have some weird stuff about them. Like Asuka, she's pretty straightforward, but she also has some weird stuff going on. Like her jab isn't plus on block, so you kind of have to go into her jab strings, otherwise her jab sucks. That kind of stuff. Um, you know, honestly, Anna. Anna's not great or anything, but she's pretty straightforward. So I don't know if any of those characters interest you. Uh, look around. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, King, baby, but King's a little... Nah, King is kind of like this mid-level of complexity. I mean, you could kind of play him as a straightforward poking character, too. Though. You don't have to get into the crazy stuff like you could just play king as down forward one down forward two confirm you know down forward one two poking and then he has the armor king down three now so you know yeah so you can play king and down forward four 14 frame low poke he has generic down four for 12 frame low so yeah king also king over armor king i would say King's throws distracted me when i was new see that's the thing when you're new you're going to be easily distracted by the unique things when you're talking about learning fundamentals, you got to remember that it's Kazumi. Kazumi has, like, the strongest version of the fundamental tools of Tekken. She has some of the strongest versions of them all, and, that, and, and some of the best movement in the game on top of that, the best sidestepping and backdashing. That's what makes her so fucking good and so easy to use, right? So, you know, you got jab. She has a regular jab, decent range. She got 1-1-2 hit confirm. Knock down 10 frame, right? She has a really good magic 4, 11 frame counter hit launch with an easy conversion outside of max range where she can't really convert it at all, right? She has a uh, fucking down forward 1 poking. It's only negative 3 on block and she could still step after it. And then she could step into down forward 1 and if you see that they press something after you press down forward 1, you confirm and finish it with 2. Straightforward. She has a straightforward down back 4 poke, counter hit follow up for good damage. Plus four on hit, which sets up down forward one frame trap and magic four frame trap. You know? All those moves is like the same fucking moves you always see. They all go together for like the most straightforward fucking game plan ever. Very straightforward. She has generic down four. Uh, and, it's, and then since season two, she got forward three uh, fly two as a whiff punisher. So she has a good whiff punisher. You know? 